Tyrannosaurus Rex is undoubtedly the most popular dinosaur to have ever existed. But does everybody know about his evolutionary history? What about his predecessors? Could they be the key to unlocking the knowledge to understand how this great predator came to be? Well, I think so. Last year, there was a discovery of a Tyrannosaur species that may just fill in the gap. Now, am I a year late to this? Maybe, but potato potato at this point. Let's jump into it. In an interesting study to say the least, Researchers Elias Warshow and Denver Fowler unearthed a fascinating chapter in the evolutionary history of Tyrannosaurs. Today we delve into the discovery of a new species that assists our understanding of these iconic predators. Meet Desplutosaurus wilsoni, aptly named Wilson's Frightful Reptile, after the dedicated paleontologist John P. Wilson from San Diego, California. Wilson discovered the holotype specimen, and the painstaking process of excavating it earned the specimen a fitting nickname. Sisyphus. Sisyphus, for those of you that don't know, is a nod to the Greek mythological figure condemned to eternity to roll a boulder uphill, which I mean is a fun existence as any. It aptly captures the momentous task faced by the researchers. Removing over 7 meters of rock to reveal the fossilized remains was certainly a Herculean effort. Sisyphus is just one of the four Tyrannosaur skeletons collected by the Badlands Dinosaur Museum between 2017 and 2022. These specimens were excavated in the Valley County, Montana. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of this article. Published in 2022, Warshaw and Fowler's study reveals a unique blend of features in the newly discovered species, Displegosaurus wilsoni. The creature showcases a striking combination of both primitive traits, like prominent eye horns, as well as more advanced characteristics seen in the later tyrannosaurs, such as the T-Rex. This included tall eye sockets, as well as expanded air pockets in the skull. These findings reinforce the idea that previous research identifying multiple species of Despletosaurus as part of a single evolving lineage was certainly on the right path. More intriguingly, they provided compelling evidence supporting the descent of T-Rex from this very group or at the very least, T-Rex's evolutionary lineage could have taken a very similar pathway. The description of Desplitosaurus wilsoni supports the hypothesis of anagenesis within the Desplitosaurus genus, indicating that the evolutionary changes within this genus occurred through the transformation of a single lineage over time. This finding enhances the degree with which the evolution of Desplitosaurus can be reconstructed. The application of cladistic phylogenic methods, consideration of stratigraphy, and qualitative analysis of relevant morphological traits or support an anagenic model for the origin of morphological novelty within Displetosaurus. Now some of you may be saying, whoa, 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 hold your horses, what does this all mean? Well, it means that changes in the Displetosaurus genus happened gradually with one lineage over time. This helps us better understand how Displetosaurus evolved. Cladistic phylogenic methods just means looking at the family tree patterns, while stratigraphy just means studying the layers of the rock, and qualitative analysis of relevant morphological traits means analyzing physical traits which all point to a gradual evolution model for the unique features in Displetosaurus. Now, this allowed researchers to place Wilsoni between two previously identified species, being Displetosaurus terosus and Displetosaurus horneri, again showing gradual evolution. Elias Warshaw's dedication to unraveling the mysteries of Tyrannosaur evolution continues to persist. His ongoing research explores the intricate link between T-Rex, Despletosaurus, as well as many others, providing invaluable insights into their connection. Discoveries such as these could link the T-Rex to evolving from Despletosaurus itself. However, there's also arguments saying that T-Rex and Tarbosaurus, which is an Asian ancestor, both evolved from the same species. Clearly, whenever we think we have another answer, another five decide to present themselves. In my opinion, even if the whole T-Rex evolving from Despletosaurus's genus didn't occur, it still shows gradual evolution throughout its existence, growing more advanced features and characteristics, making it one interesting theropod. Anyways, we've reached the end of the video. As always, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also make sure to check out both my TikTok and Instagram for shorter form content. I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.